Hello people, so I hope you are doing well and uh, yeah, things are going on, moving on and as you can see the rear pannier rail has been put back, painting was done, I'll share at the end, it was not that bad, Only this portion was not painted but anyways, ways and as well, yeah, this area has been cleaned finally. So I can park another bike here if I have to open something for a longer period of time. The fan does not work, so that's a problem. But anyways, enough space with all the tools organized here. There, there, there. Well, anyways. But yeah, getting back to the point. So what I wanted to share today, and maybe some of you have had some problems. At least I have had this problem, is where this uh, air scope is located and how it is located. Because as you can see, there is this opening here. And if you enter deep water and if you are traveling at a speed, I'm, it depends on speed, yes, of how much water gets thrown back from here. That eventually gets sucked in. And the air filter uh, kind of gets wet, then the bike stalls, and then you have to drag it out. That is a kind of uh, problem, to be very honest. Now, technically speaking, let's measure what is uh, i mean how much is the distance so there you go and that is coming up at about uh, yeah touching ground touching ground 26 27 inches uh, i mean i have crossed a lot of uh, deep waters in all the other bikes but this one is the only one that always gets stuck and i know what the problem is as i was mentioning earlier it is not that this is approximately one one and a half inch lower than the rest of the bikes that is not the problem the problem is the water that gets thrown in from here which gets sucked in and uh, then again it's a problem so earlier i was using uh, this cut out from motul engine oil side i um, mean as you can imagine i just cut this piece out i was putting it in like this and it did help to an extent but uh, monsoon will be approaching we will be riding soon so this time around I have uh, decided to come up with a permanent solution and this is what I have. A long plastic sheet, plastic sheet and this is going to go in all the way from top there to bottom here covering this recess and covering that thin recess that we see here and that should hopefully take care but this is not the way it should be. The best thing they could have done is to put it under the seat but I am guessing they have not done it because they wanted to maybe just get the seat more comfortable more foam in there or maybe they just thought that if they put a scoop up here that would again increase I mean something could have been designed but that would have been the best place for air intake this is again okay if they would have decided to cover all these recesses here that's okay we can work around and again as I was saying this has been cut out a long sheet and I just cut it out from a container so yeah this is the bottom of the container and this is the top of the container not a very decent job but you get the idea this should help now I'm just gonna take some measurements and then I'm just gonna cut it insert it and I'll share how I have done it so let's move on so just using a a4 size paper just to get some kind of template thing going because as I said this was the first thing that I did <laughs> this was the second one did work well the idea was to put it here like this then insert it in then get it here out then as you can see there's this small hole and that would go in the air filter but this then got very close to this it may have been obstructing obstructing air but well anyways let's try and get some good things so I'm just gonna insert this template in now okay so yeah this got in had to fold it now five and a half centimeters to be exact I know the numbers are a bit yeah but anyways yeah five and a half just for the idea's sake now the width of this thing is about five inches sorry six inches I think for a permanent fitment I would have to get this bracket off so 10 mm 10 mm 
10 mm up there and again 10 mm somewhere up here here and this I'm gonna try and uh, slide this sheet from above I removed the fuse box as you can see and this is quite in now the only problem that I remember correctly these are the studs that are on the inside so we'll see once we open this and get this bracket out so let's do that okay so all the four uh, nuts have been loosened from the down now we have to do is remove the ones that are on the top so yeah these are out as well so now just press it down from here slide it a bit back and this is gonna come out okay this is the easy amount so this is out now again i have discussed this uh, when i did the ecu oh sorry uh, fuel injection cleaning so you get the point okay so that bracket is off uh, there it is now there is our sheet now i try and insert it in here best to try and do it from here as well because i'll tell you what the problem is i mean i can be a bit meticulous about it but do you see this was the stud that i was worried about but behind behind that stud is another mount this one that goes in this bracket this one that you see here so i can either punch in a hole get the measurements right or I can just bypass this because this from here to here would give enough clearance and that should take care of it so let's try that I'm gonna slide it from in here and then I'm gonna be pulling it from underneath yeah there you go you get the point now it is here so let's go down a bit and that is the idea so this is going to work as an air scoop i'll be pulling it down again of course and this is where it is going to be sucking in the air from through all of this so i would have to make sure that this area is clean and while riding not much of the water accumulates in here but that is the idea and this would cover so this is where we are inserted from here slide it up then slide it down and this is still where it comes in and that pretty much covers it as you can see no water is gonna seep in from here this portion yeah this one is all covered going all the way up till here and beyond this that would be going in any which way so yeah this is where it will be sucking in the air from instead of getting all the water that is being thrown out from here this should take care of it I mean that small thingy where it is where it is yeah so this one this small thingy took care of it so this long sheet is definitely gonna take care of it now just to stabilize this i am thinking maybe i should uh, cut it from here a bit and so that this mount can come out so that this is not moving too much so let's just do that so I've just taken some measurements i mean i've just cut in with a normal blade here and here and uh, I will leave the open side, I mean the upper side open, but cut from the lower side so that that plastic can come in here and then when the bolt comes in there, it will take care of and hold it in its place. I can do the same up here as well, cutting it like this, but I mean this much should do. As for the portion behind, yeah, that is taking good care of it. This is in contact with this uh, stud, as you can see, and lower as well not touching the shocker besides here from here to here that sheet is gonna go in any which ways so yeah let's just take it out cut this one in punch in the hole here so that the bolt can go in and this will hold in place okay so this is your basic template so this is the kind of thing but to be very honest this is my first incarnation of this so maybe you can go a bit longer maybe 17 18 would do and width wise you should be okay with wise it should not be a problem six six and a half should do now as i said this cutout that i'm making for this mount that is at, again that is at six inches as you can see 
and about quarter of an inch from the top so I've al already cut this and this now I'll be cutting it from down here let me do that yeah and now we have this cut out that is gonna go this thingy that is gonna go and rest in here so that this thing is stabilized and not just vibrating around of course I can do a second one as I said but well one should do this is the first uh, prototype kind of so yeah let's move on now as for installing this contraption slide it from behind the airbox there is ample space now this is where we will be punching in a hole just to make sure that this stabilizes so let's do that so just punch in a hole well pretty simple you just have to poke something in and this went in so yeah the hole has been punched again this is all I'm doing the first thing I'm going to install this and just make sure that the holes and everything align uh, this one is a dummy any which way so we just need to use one two and three so let's do the first one there is a mount though uh, this one goes in there so yeah and for the next bit let's try and put this through here we go yeah that's going in that's done that is it just needed to take the measurements not gonna close it completely now might have to open it again I'm just gonna put in that bracket back in there okay so the back sheet has been put back in again just remember one thing once you're sliding this back uh, it goes up in here you then you tighten it this clamp this is gonna stay up so that the top mounts can be mounted as well as the rear stud uh, there is one yeah that one can go into this hole not tightened this yet but you get the idea now unfortunately I'm just guessing there's still some open space some water can come in from here but so yeah this sheet has gone in as I was saying this is gonna go in just make sure that lip here is above this and these holes just align like this and this and that bracket has been put in ECU bracket fuse box has been put in there is some gap in here the contraption that I was working on has ended till here and there is still some gap left from here to here so I'm wondering maybe I should have extended it maybe in the next version I would all these things would be taken care of this would be tightened that is not hindering anywhere that contraption that I have put in covering all of this as well as you see yeah this was the thingy that we have put in going all the way and staying away from the rear suspension a bit so let's tighten all of this yeah so all of these have been tightened uh, these did require some effort this and this as well as these studs they have to lower down uh, that I mean there is no special way to do it you just have to do a little bit of jiggery poggery as they say but as I did all of this now this is the plastic sheet that is coming up now as you see it's here as well going all the way down till there so no water is gonna get sucked in from there technically that is good that is good no water again here 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 but there is some water that might come in from uh, here and then land in here well I should have measured it correctly before but well now you, that you know at least you guys can do it so right now I'm just using this plastic cut out and uh, I'm just gonna put the seat back in so eventually yeah uh, this could have been longer maybe the next version that I do of this I'll keep it simple and maybe we'll get to and I mean come on Royal Enfield Yard just do it just do it right and which ways let me put the seat back in and let's uh, give it a ride so yeah everything is packed up I uh, just took a short ride bike is starting all right 
Rest, we will know once we encounter deep waters. But yeah, that's the idea. So yeah, that was one thing that may be of some help for the people who are encountering these kind of things. Uh, underwater passings and, you know, the Leh, Ladakh and uh, Spiti, deep waters. This should hold up. This should hold up. No water should be seeping in. Let's see. But yeah, that was it. So yeah, thanks. Bye.